Welcome into the K0 LWC Ham Shack. Today, we're checking out the Yezu FT5D and how to program a frequency on the fly. Maybe you're on vacation, maybe you're visiting family out of state, and you want to put in a new repeater while you're away. How do you do that from the radio? Well, it's actually really quite easy. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it. The first thing you're going to want to make sure of is that your radio is in VFO mode. You'll see that I have VFO both on A band and on B band. Once you're in VFO mode, go ahead and set the frequency that you want to program. Uh, if it's a repeater, go ahead and put it to the correct repeater frequency for the output. Put the offset, the tone if you need that, and make sure you're on the right mode, uh, analog versus digital, etc. Once you have it set perfectly and it's working fine in VFO mode, now you're ready to actually program it into the radio's memory. So go ahead and press and hold VM and you'll notice we now have memory and the number four flashing. What that means is I have memories programmed in one through three. If I go back and take a look at them, they come up red. That means that there's something already programmed into that slot. Now, I can overwrite these if I want, but I want to go to the next available channel, which of course is white, and that's number four. So let's go ahead and program it into number four. I'm going to press VM again, and now it's going to want an alphanumeric tag. Uh, this is for my hotspot. I'm going to go ahead and type in the word hotspot here. Uh, that way I said I have a quick reference and know exactly what it is when I see it in memory. All right, so I've input hotspot. Now all I have to do to actually program is go ahead and press VM. There we go. Now you'll see channel number four, hotspot is the alphanumeric tag, and there's my hotspot frequency, 446-675 simplex uh, with digital narrow voice. That's it. That's as easy as it is. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe for more great ham radio videos in the future. If you have a question, drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to help, and I'll catch you again next time.